affliction. He will call upon me and I will answer you. I will lead you back, your captives, from every place. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning and welcome to our Eucharist on this 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time. The readings of today speak, as we are now, towards the very end of our calendar year with the theme of hope. We prepare ourselves, we give thanks to our God for the blessings of the past week, our failures and weaknesses, we ask pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, who came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another, Lord, have mercy. You come to us in your word and your sacrament, Christ, her mercy. You ask us to love, to care, and to forgive one another, Lord, her mercy. And may our loving God, her mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us all to life everlasting. Glory to God in the highest. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. We will ask our children for the children's liturgy to come to the front, and then we say our opening prayer, and then we will go with uh, Daniela. Eh? So, children, you come and stand here. Oh, you take your cross. Stay here. Stay here. We will say the opening prayer. You carry the cross? Again. Yes, again? Okay. Yeah, we will say our opening prayer and then you go for your liturgy. Let us pray. A loving and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike, 
we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Very good. We will see you later. Eh? Okay. First reading, a reading from the prophet Malachi. The day is coming now, burning like a furnace, and all the arrogant and the evildoers will be like stubble. The day that is coming is going to burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, leaving them neither root nor stalk. But for you who fear my name, the sun of righteousness will shine without healing in its rays. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. The Lord comes, comes to rule the earth with justice. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, acclaim the King, the Lord. The, the Lord, Lord comes, comes to rule the earth, earth with justice. justice. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands and the hills ring out their joy at the presence of the Lord. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. For the Lord comes, he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with fairness. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You know how you were supposed to imitate us? Now, we were not idle when we were with you nor did we ever have our meals at anyone's table without paying for them. No, we worked night and day, slaving and straining so as not to be a burden on any of you. This was not because we had no right to be, but in order to make ourselves an example for you to follow. We gave you a rule when we were with you not to let anyone have any food if they refuse to do any work. Now we hear that there are some of you who are living in idleness, doing no work themselves, but interfering with everyone else's. In the Lord Jesus Christ, we order and call on people of this kind to go on quietly working and earning the food that they eat. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Alleluia, alleluia. Lift up your heads and see. Your redemption is near at hand. Alleluia. To be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel of Golden to Luke. When some were talking about the temple, remarking how it was atoned with fine stonework and votive offerings, 
Jesus said, all these things that you are staring at now, the time will come when not a single stone will be left on another. Everything will be destroyed. And they put this him this question, Master, they said, when will this happen? Then in what sign will be there that this is about to take place? Take care not to be deceived, he said, because many will come using my name and saying, I am he, and the time is near at hand, refuse to join them. And when you hear of wars and revolutions, do not be frightened, for this is something that must happen, but the end not to be frightened, for this thing must happen, but the end is not so soon. Then he said to them, nation will fight against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes and plagues and famines here and there. There will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. But before all this happens, people will seize you and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to imprisonment and bring you before kings and governors because of my name. And that will be your opportunity to bear witness. Keep this carefully in mind. You are not to prepare your defense because I myself shall give you an eloquence and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to resist or contradict. You'll be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relations and friends, and some of you will be put to death. You'll be hated by all people on account of my name, but not one hair of your head will be lost. Your endurance will win you your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. So I said at the beginning of our Mass, today is the 33rd Sunday. One more Sunday next week, the 34th, last Sunday, and we celebrate Christ the King. And then following Sunday is first Sunday of Advent. So the readings speaks about the end of time and behaves with a theme of hope. I'll just go one by one with our readings. I'll start with the second reading of Paul to the Thessalonians. We read it during the past week that Paul himself started this communion, this community in Thessalonica. So he started off by saying, you imitate us, imitate me and my little team because we imitate Jesus. I remember when I was in novitiate in 1998, oh, um, there was a book, uh, Imitation of Christ. So when we have our lunch or an evening meal, we, we just eat quietly and someone will read from this book, Imitation of Christ. So that's what Paul in this letter saying to the community, imitate us. And when he went on to say, uh, you see that we work day and night to earn our living because we don't want to overburden you by asking you to provide for our needs. Um, he said, don't interfere with other people's business. You do your own and you work quietly. And then he went on to say, some of you uh, are not working, but you're eating from other people's um, income. So he said, there's no good. If you don't work, don't let them eat. 
But because the people were thinking of the second coming of Jesus, uh, maybe next week or maybe next month, so they were saying, what's the use of working? Or well, just sit around and wait. Our mystery after the consecration. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and we profess your resurrection until you come again. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. But when? Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. So that's why this community, they were thinking, oh, very soon, soon and very soon, we are going to see the king, that song. Save us, savior of the world, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. It's not easy to, I think to me, it's a little bit beyond our reach. A few Sundays ago, we were talking about uh, of this world and the next. Um, we believe in the assumption of Mary, believing that where Jesus is, Mary will be there. Uh, in the Philippines, when um, Easter Sunday, about four o'clock in the morning, Jesus and the men will be coming from one end, and Mary and the women from Joey. And they'll come to the church, there's a tower built, and the Sugat, they call it the encounter, and then Mary, Mary, that way, Jesus, they come, and the little angel will descend with the crown, crowning of Mary. It's not in the Bible, but the theologians of our church, they believe, I think Mary was the first person Jesus showed himself to. Um, it might help um, with this mystery of faith that we proclaim every Mass. Mm, the mystery is a mystery. Um, the first reading from Prophet Malachi about the day of the Lord. And it said, for those who respect, they will have the love of God and also healing. And for those who do not, the Psalm is Psalm 98, the same theme. The day of the Lord, a day full of joy. So we come to the gospel. Talks about the, the temple. And we can, we can see something here. Adorned, beautiful stained glass windows. And, uh, the temple, the stones, and the gifts. The sacred gifts. Especially for the temple. And we hear of the temple worship. You go there to pray. Two men went up to the temple, the presentation of Jesus in the temple, feast of the Passover. Jesus went and the relatives went back to Nazareth, he stayed back in the temple. In John also, John is trying to say maybe the it's no longer on the mountain and in the temple that we worship, but we worship in ourselves. Even I hear, like the, in Jerusalem, why the Jews, the Judaism, they don't rebuild the temple. They bring the temple or the value of the temple to their home. So their home becomes a temple. I think there are also families they have tried to have a little altar in their home. So after the baptism, that's where they leave the candle and the little cross and the Bible and Santo Nino and whatever. 
And when they leave their home, they touch that little altar and bless themselves. And when they come back again, we talk, our, our school in Tonga is uh, St. John's, and the symbol of our school is a cassia tree. And we all talk about it. We bring the tree and plant it here in our hearts in Australia. The same uh, kind of thinking. The other one of Jesus towards the end, people will hate you because of me. They will kill you because of me. So we know Peter Chanel. He went to Futuna. They got rid of him. I remember in the history of the, in Tonga, uh, the French missionaries, woo-hoo, and also the Protestants, they were all persecuted by our king. So one time, uh, the French missionaries, they wrote to the priest in Tahiti and reported how they are suffering, they are being persecuted. And a warship, French warship came from Tahiti to Tonga and said to the king, leave our boys alone, we'll blow you up. So, <clears throat> but this. <laughs> and it went on to say, even our parents, our sisters, our brothers, and we know that in my own family, there's always a little disagreement and and it's always, it's Jesus. Mm. His way will bring us peace. And we stand and we profess our faith. I believe in one God. judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Scripture reminds us that although we may have to face wars, insurrections, earthquakes, famines, and plagues, not a hair of our heads will be destroyed if we have faith in God. We ask the Father for the grace to live that faith. That the church may provide wisdom and guidance so that all Christians may persevere in the face of persecution and secure their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders and army generals will hear and respond to the declaration of Pope Francis that conflicts will never be resolved through the childish logic of weapons but only through the mild force of dialogue. We pray to the Lord. Lord. That we will observe this World Day of the Poor as a healthy challenge, helping us to reflect on our style of life and on the many forms of poverty all around us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as members of civil society, we will uphold the values of freedom responsibility, fraternity, and solidarity, while as Christians we will always make charity, faith, and hope the basis of our lives and our actions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the many selfless people who reach out with sincere and generous concern to assist those whose homes have been destroyed and whose lives have been disrupted by wars or natural disasters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are weak or ill while in flight from war, violence or disaster will find welcoming places of shelter and rest that restore them to health and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 
God our Father, we offer these petitions seeking your help so that we may be better able to stand erect and raise our heads confident that our redemption is at hand. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice, the bread and the wine, will be acceptable to God, the dear Almighty Father. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of our, your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the price of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as you endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all your saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Oh, 
Holy o Lord, to the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts. We pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the two fool, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which you will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup. And again, giving you thanks and praise, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith is when a dream is come, we claim your death, O Lord, until you come again. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, and giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all those who minister the gospel. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, that Joseph, his spouse, the apostles, and all your saints, we pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be go to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, God mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is you forever and Pray together in the prayer of Jesus himself told us. Our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said the Apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus be with you all. And with your spirit. We offer each other that sign of peace. This is Jesus, the Son of God, the Son of Mary. Happy are we who are invited to his supper, Lord.
we stand and we pray our parish prayer. Oh, sorry. Loving God, you are the home of our hearts and dubious longings. We find our way as families. We thank you for the blessings. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do, in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May our loving God bless us the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So thank you all for our Mass of the day, for our choir, and our, for the service. Uh, Matteo Raphael will be baptized after our Mass, and Stevie Nash. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May our loving God bless us, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass has been offered. We go in the peace of Christ. Thanks. Have a good day.